Hello and welcome back to Europe 1100 and we're currently in a battle against a vassal here that I have chased off from the main force of enemies and of course they were attempting to potentially start an attack against one of our armies that is trying to besiege the uh, Roman capital so that's actually really fantastic so that means that maybe what we're going to be able to do is capture it if we can maybe drive off a couple of more of them, maybe we'll be able to do that. I don't know whether we'll really be able to, but we can only try. That's that's pretty much the best thing I can really say right now. But this is obviously one of their, as far as I'm aware, one of their mercenaries. I actually don't think that this is a proper vassal. I think this is from a minor faction somewhere. But um, yeah, hopefully we'll be able to do that. And uh, yeah, you could quite clearly see that we're just absolutely dominating this guy because he literally just has very few units nothing really to worry about and there we have it there is the victory so obviously from this we're also going to be gaining a significant amount of influence we're going to be gaining some leadership and of course i can take him prisoner if we so desire which i think i will probably start doing now because i don't actually need additional charm which is quite funny really because obviously beforehand i was like oh i need to get as much charm as possible but nowadays no not so much because we have a spouse. Yeah, we have a spouse already. So it's not actually necessary for me to really be so hard pressed about that. We're going to be um, replacing some of her gear as well. As you can see right there, we're actually getting some additional stuff that is going to be helping her. And what is she actually good at again? She's good at bows. She's actually hilariously, funnily enough, pretty good at bows. And she does have thrown weapons as well. Yeah, so thrown weapons is what we're probably going to be equipping on her relatively soon. Now that we've actually taken this guy prisoner, however, I'm probably going to... Hmm, I would like... Oh, hello, Federico. Oh, he's actually taking that uh, that little castle over there. I really hope that we don't get that castle. I really hope he's not able to be successful there. The main reason for that is because I don't want to be given it. I would like to have Rome as my, as my fief, if at all possible. But you know how it is. Sometimes they're just going to give you whatever. I mean, most of the time they will just give you whatever. And then, yeah, it's not going to be working out too well. But... Uh, we can only hope, eh? We can only hope. There's not really much I can do about that, unfortunately. So we're just going to be doing this. Ooh, we got a Destriere as well. Hmm, is that a Noble Mount, by the way? Is that a Noble Mount? Yes, it is actually a Noble Mount. That's fantastic. Give me that. Thank you. Okay, that's very, very nice. And now we can just, you know, replace that with, with that. And that is fantastic. Okay, so now we can actually just move around here. And we can actually take a look and see what, what is exactly going on here. So I need to be careful because I don't really want to get myself absolutely massacred in the process. There is a 175 strong vassal here, but as we know, he's not that good. I mean, yeah, he has a lot of crossbowmen, which is definitely going to make things very, very tricky for us. But you can see here that Roger II is not perturbed at all, and he's very likely to continue the siege. So let's actually just wait here for a little bit of time. I would like, if I could, to maybe get one of them, or maybe we can just tell them to go away. I don't know, maybe they'll just run away or something like that. Um, I'm kind of just, I'm just speeding things up a little bit here just to try and see whether they're actually going to achieve victory. Are they actually going to go in? Because <laughs> I'm, I'm wondering, I'm wondering right now. Okay, so they're actually coming in as well. There's a bunch of reinforcements coming in here. Not a big fan of that. Okay, we're going to have to go for the party size limit here. And we also got 125 in two-handed. I will be going for Berserker. And we're also going to be going for a minus 50% barter penalty for items in comparison to hiring mercenary troops, wages being reduced, and so on and so forth. But yeah, there you go. All right, so let's actually see what he... Is he actually going to go in finally, or is he not? Okay, I kind of want to do battle here. Oh, I can't. Ooh... That is... Oh, that is harsh. That guy actually managed to escape as well. That's funny. Right. Okay. Well, I can't really do much about this, so I'm going to have to wait. Maybe... Oh, they actually took that castle. Ah, oh, no. I'm going to be getting it, aren't I? Oh, no. I'm going to be getting the ownership of that castle. I mean, technically, I can actually... You know, I can accept it. Um, but then I'm going to have to... Um, give it away to someone or something yeah as you can see they really want to give this to me i will be actually um voting for someone else so that i gain some additional charm skill and i gain some additional relation with everyone and it's still going to go to me of course because that's just how it goes which is indeed sad but 
you know, I can't really do much about that. And um, yeah, now we are in a problem situation because we now consistently have enemies that we can't fight on the field unless... Oh! Hello. What are you doing? It's been... Oh. <laughs> what is he doing? Was he... Did he need food? I'm going to assume he needed food. I am going to assume that that is the, literally the only reason why he decided to do that. That is actually crazy. All right. This is great. Um, minus 10% barter penalty with lords of different cultures. That actually seems like something I would love to take and something that is really going to make things super, super easy for us. Because, of course, I am Nordic culture. So me taking the minus 25% battle penalty with lords of the same culture is not going to make any difference. So I'm going to take Slick Negotiator. And we are now going to head in. All right, this is great. This is an absolutely fantastic battle for us to be in. Hopefully we're going to be able to make good use of it. And I'm actually going to move my archers onto the top of this hill here, if we can. They are 400 meters, miles, whatever away. So yards, probably, isn't it? It's probably going to be yards. Anyway, let's just move my forces over here. We're going to have to do a little bit of something with my cavalry, hopefully move them over there. And if the enemy does decide to attack us with their cavalry, we will attempt to attack back. Now, here's the thing. I am now in two minds about whether I should literally just go straight in. In other words, maybe I should just charge. Maybe I should just charge and just, you know, be hyper aggressive against the enemy and, uh, you know, try to make something work there. But in doing so, I might actually face some massive issues. So now I'm, you know, kind of a bit hesitant to do that. Oh my, my, oh, there we go. Oh, that's nice. Okay, can I get to 125, please? Nice. Okay, that was some good. That was a good hit. That was actually surprisingly good. Well, uh, there's not much for me to say about that. Yep. Just gonna let my forces just charge in. I'm just gonna let them charge in because um, it, it looks as though we we should be absolutely fine here, nevertheless. And um, maybe we're gonna be able to get some relatively decent throwing skill as well. I was actually really hoping we'd be able... Did I get 125, by the way? I think I might have gotten 125. If I did, then I'm very, very pleased. But if not, then I'm sad. <laughs> so, you know, there's that. We're just going to try and do as much damage as possible. She does not have harpoons, by the way, so of course she's going to be a little bit worse at killing enemies with this. But... It's going to be decent enough, I suppose. Oh, hello there. You're actually trying to gang up on me. I'm not a big fan of that, sir. I'm not a big fan of that at all. All right. Uh, yeah, I'm probably going to die here unless I get some assistance. Oh, oh. Maybe some of my maybe some of my people can actually help me out. And uh, my cavalry is literally just like, nah, I'm not going to help you this time. Yeah, that, that seems a bit problematic, doesn't it? Oh, oh, oh. My, my crossbowmen are actually getting in range. That's fantastic. Oh, dear. Well, we're now in a bit of a problem situation, aren't we? Okay, there we go. We can eliminate that fellow just before dying. That's good enough. That's absolutely fine. I don't have a problem with that. And we're just going to speed up the rest here because I believe this is indeed a victory for us. I am not going to get mixed up in terms of our colors next time either. And there it is. There's the victory. So we ended up losing quite a few units. Including my... Myself. Well, I, I have I have very little words. I have very little words to say about this. This has never happened to me ever before when I have not been using the Death for All mod. I am extremely surprised. All right. Well, it's actually good that we um. It's good that we married someone then, isn't it? Yeah. Uh. Right. Okay. I guess I'm going to be taking all of them prisoner. I give up. Um. This is very weird. This is super, super strange now. Um, yeah, so I'm going to be playing as Martha then. Uh, <laughs> oh, that was not what I anticipated at all. No. Not in a million years could I have imagined that this would have happened. All right, well. Not much for me to do then. Except move on. Take all the loot. And here we go, on the 13th day of summer. When did we get married? Didn't we get married on like the, um, I don't even know, the, uh, what was it, 18th day of winter or something like that? And now we have to select an heir. I'm actually not entirely sure if this is even going to work. I think it is. 
yeah it is gonna work the game actually just lagged a huge amount i'm not entirely sure but there you go all right so he's dead now and this is actually really really bad for a variety of reasons it's bad for one we don't have another heir so we don't have a child or anything like that so i'm gonna have to get married or something like that with martha here and that's gonna be harsh not sure how that's really gonna work and she's also, um, well, she's pretty good in, in basically every single aspect. She's got amazing roguery skill. She's got a good polearm skill, so I might actually end up using a Manavlion or something like that. Actually, should I use that instead? Where is that Manavlion that I had? Uh, I don't have that. Oh, that's hilarious. Yeah, I must have sold it or... Um, I, I probably smelted it or something along those lines, but yeah, anyway, um, we can give her some throwing weapons at least, so yeah, we can give her some harpoons, and uh, we can just equip her with some better gear, okay, give her the destrier and all that wonderful stuff, and uh, yeah, so now, <laughs> now we're going to have to move away, we're going to have to run away right here, I actually have no idea, we are, um, oh, now, now, the, now things are getting dicey. Now things are getting super, super dicey right here. Okay, so f very quickly, I just want to see... Where are the pole arms? There's the pole arms. Okay, so yeah, we have barely any, but we can make a huge amount of them to, uh, you know, uh, discover parts and things like that. But unfortunately, we don't have a huge amount of wood, which is the main problem here. So I will have to go and do that. She literally has zero smithing skill, by the way. She has absolutely zero smithing skill, so this is going to be extremely difficult. Um, yeah, I'm just going to be recruiting as many units as I can get my hands on, I suppose. That really... She has no leadership either. Yeah. Oh. This is... This is real... Oh, this is real bad. Okay, so let's have a look. Um, yeah, what are we going to do? Double the morale bonus? Yeah, I guess double the morale bonus, I think, seems relatively good. Uh, what is this? Oh, yes, 1% daily chance of animals in your party reproducing. That is absolutely fantastic. I love that ability. That is really, really cool. I'm going to have to... I don't even know what... Where, uh, how am I going to actually work with her here? Because she has so many focus points in random stuff that is actually not very useful. So, I wish I could respec... Oh, wait, can I respec the focus points? I don't think I can respec the focus points, right? I can only respec the perks themselves. That's as far as I'm aware of what's going on there. Right. Well, that's uh, that's a problematic situation to be in, isn't it? Ha. Huh. Well, there you go. We're going to have to just adapt then. And uh, as I say, we'll probably have to get married to someone else. Try to have another another child or something like that. Anyway, uh, well, not another child, but have to have to have you know have a, have a first child, shall we say? That is really going to be the only thing we can do. So let's see, what Ro what is Roger doing right now? He's not actually doing anything at all, which is a little bit um, disappointing, but what can you do, eh? What can you do? All right, so we don't have that much hardwood here, but I'm going to be buying some anyway. We're going to sell some of these cows and everything. Might as well sell the raw silk and some wool and all that stuff. And hilariously enough, now we don't have any trade skill either, as you can see. We have zero trade skill. So this is bad. This is this is a huge, huge curveball. Who would have expected that? Not in a million years me, that's for sure. Alright, so let's just get a little bit of charcoal here. She has very little smithing skill as well, as you might expect. And that means I should probably be making two-handed swords, all things considered. Um, let's go to save designs. Let's just go to here, and then we'll just do this. She's going to gain massive skill points from this, as you can see. Um, quite a bit, at least. And then we can actually smelt some stuff too. Actually, I can't because I need more of this. I mean, I need more charcoal. Uh, okay, wait a minute. I'm going to actually just smelt things very specifically here because I want to get wood. Oh, who would have expected that? Wow, I am still incredibly shocked by it. All right, yeah. Well, there's one thing that we can do. It's going to be a little bit easier for me right now. We're going to get some iron pitchforks, wooden hammers, blacksmith's hammers, and regular pitchforks. Because these things actually do give you massive amounts of wood whenever you smelt them. Like, for example, wait a minute, where is it? Uh, there we go. Yeah, oh, actually, not the iron pitchforks, just the regular pitchforks to give you that. So that's actually really nice. As you can see, look at that. We just gained 12. Just going to do the smelting once again. Oh, actually, I do need to get uh, efficient charcoal. Um, where is... Oh. Ah. 
Yeah, that makes sense. That actually makes sense. Okay, let's go into the arena. Oh, okay. This is a huge reset button right now, isn't it? All right, so here we go. What are we going to do? Well, it's endurance, isn't it? So yes, focus on smithing. There we go. Um, yeah, we can't actually respec our focus points as far as I'm aware. So this is this is going to be a, um, a difficult thing to do now. I was really wanting to get to 300 trade skill. I super badly wanted to get to 300 trade skill. That would have been so incredibly fun. Oh, well, never mind. Efficient charcoal maker and new part designs, of course. That's what we want. And then we'll just go into the smithy once again and we'll just do this can i can i not sort by ye oh, i can't sort by yield of course i can't okay so let's just get a whole bunch of these this is going to be a lot easier now once again look at that another massive amount and then we just do this once again same thing look at that 40 of them what what, what wait a minute wait a minute i'm doing it with the wrong guy all right yeah that actually makes sense Wait, yeah, now she can, yeah, there we go. I was literally doing smithing with the wrong person this entire time. Absolute idiot I am. There we go. All right, now we have a massive amount of charcoal, as you can see right here. This is infinitely better than what we had beforehand. And now we have 270 charcoal, which is absolutely great. Now, the problem that we are having is that she has no focus points in smithing at all. And that is going to be the big big issue here we can make something for her and we can indeed discover parts now that she's actually created a huge amount of charcoal for us technically our mr fish guy he can actually do something so maybe we can oh now i've used all my wood haven't i okay wait a minute let me actually just uh okay um where is that stuff now? There we go. There's all the pitchforks. Let's just smelt a whole bunch of those, as you can see. And then we can actually do something here. So we could just get, just make a huge amount of these. Just a massive amount. And can I actually increase my, no, I can't. Okay, yeah, we're going to have to smelt a bunch then, I suppose. And he can, he can't level up any further, can he? No, he can't. Okay, so what about her? She can level up quite a bit. There we go. Uh, you know what? I don't even know. I don't even know what to do right now. This is, this is pretty, um, uh, this is just pretty unlikely, I guess. I mean, I can, I can get more parts, as you can see right here. This is pretty easy for me to do that. But, oh, wow, I'm reeling. I have no idea. I've got so many of these now. Okay, yeah, way too many of these. And that, now basically money doesn't matter anymore because I don't, I, I'm not going to have charm skill. I mean, uh, trade skill to 300. I'm not going to have charm, uh, trade skill to 300 anymore. And that is the, the big problem here. Right. Ha. Huh. Wait, do, do I not still have some of those blacksmith hammers or something like that? It doesn't seem as though I do. Oh, that's hilarious. I just used all my charcoal. Well, whatever the case, we now have a massive amount of additional parts unlocked, at least for pole arms, because of course she wants to become a pole arm user, because she does have 133 in that, and she has focus points in all this random stuff, which is not exactly great. All right, well, let's go into a battle then. This is our first time going into a battle with her. And um, actually, I just want to have a look see here. Yeah, so we are still the quartermaster with her, which is, I suppose, fine. But now the problem is, we don't have Renown coming in from our caravans any further. you got to bear that in mind. We don't have that skill anymore. So that's also a huge, huge issue here. Huh. All right. This is, hmm. This is very intriguing. As I say, I never would have expected that to happen in a million years, but it did. So, yeah. Okay, these guys have got a massive amount of cavalry. Very surprising amount of cavalry. Let's see what we can do here.
Well, at least our healer is still gaining some experience and levels and everything, because I don't think that Martha is going to actually be able to do that. She, um, she's just diversifying way too much in all kinds of focus points, and it's not really going to work, I don't think. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to find a uh, prospective you know, husband, I suppose, for her, and then we're going to have to marry him, and then we'll see what happens with that. Hopefully it's going to be someone with really, really good combat skills. That's all I can hope for, really. And, well, <laughs> then we'll see. We've got to kind of play the long game then, uh, which is much more than I was anticipating, because I actually thought I was going to create my own faction relatively soon after this, because once we have a FIFA 2, it's a pretty good launching pad to create our own faction. And that was kind of what I was planning on doing in the future. But now this has kind of put a, a bit of a spanner in the works. And I'm not sure how we're really going to progress from here. Because I had a pretty pretty clear idea in my head as to what I wanted to do. And obviously, if you know me, you kind of know how I progress it with things. When I create my own faction, I, I like to have a couple of thieves under my belt at that point. And then we can actually take those thieves and we can snowball them and hopefully capture some other weakened factions things. We can eliminate them and then we can go onward with that. Hopefully get my trade skill finally to 300, which would have been absolutely fantastic if we would have been able to do that. Of course, we are not able to. And uh, yeah, then everything would have worked out really, really nicely because then I would have been able to purchase huge amounts of... Um, huge amounts of fiefs, or at the very least, I would have been able to barter for them really, really nicely. Uh, but yeah, obviously, as it is, that is uh, apparently not going to happen now. So yeah, uh, as I say, it's going to be uh, an interesting situation to be in. And we're just going to be leveling up our crossbowmen here. Let's level up these guys a little bit as well. Barely enough horses to be able to do that. And they are still attempting to take Rome. Not sure what's going on with this. Hopefully they're going to be done relatively soon. This guy needs to get um, needs to right. get attacked. Hello there, sir. Uh, I'm just going to auto resolve against him. Actually, there doesn't seem to be a point in uh, anything else at, at this at this juncture. So let's actually uh, take all of his stuff. There we go. Okay, so there is a ferry point. Not sure if I want to use this. It's fifteen thousand. Oh no 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 no. Thank you thank you. Not not very. Um, not very likely for me to do that. And what about this guy? He's raiding our villages or doing something here. So let's we might as well attack him as well. And we'll do a nice little nice little auto resolve there. Uh, I don't even know what, what kind of charm skill she has or anything like that. So maybe we should take a look. Oh, I missed that German noble knight. My bad. All right. Well, anyway. Yeah, her charm skill is absolutely abysmal. So good luck trying to get someone to marry her, I suppose. Or uh, try to persuade. I don't know whether I need to persuade too much. Um... <laughs> I guess we'll have to find out, won't we? Yes, we will indeed have to find out. All right, um, well, I also have very little ability to make money now, or at the very least, I have a lot less ability to make money because we have a much greater trade penalty now. Because before, obviously, we didn't have as much of a trade penalty because we had uh, Borgar, you know, doing his thing and making things very, very easy for us, but... Yeah, now, now it's um, it's a lot more difficult. I'm going to just sell that iron ore for real quick. Oh, you don't have enough money, you absolute imbecile. Oh, uh, well, never mind. I'm going to reset that. Um, is that really how much I actually have in my inventory? Do I really have like over 100,000 or something like that in my, in my inventory? I, I suppose I do. That's actually pretty crazy. Anyway, we're just going to leave the, the town with some money at least. And then we are going to... Your fleet does not have enough room for three of your men. Okay. Right. See the ships for sale. A dinghy. <laughs> that is so funny. All right. Yeah, there we go. At least we now have enough. And now we can make our way over here. And uh, I hope that I will be able to... Where, where's my Where's my place again? Uh, it's over there. Okay, I can just go to that ferry point, I suppose. Oh, Rome has now been taken. Okay. I have enough influence to potentially vote for myself. Um, so I'm hoping that they are actually going give to give that to me because that's going to be an exceptional launching point for us. But of course, you know, you know how it is, right? You know how it is. All right. So let, uh, first of all, I just need to cancel all of this stuff. Need to cancel all of this. Need to get festivals and games. Need to put 10K in there. Uh, it doesn't really make any difference. But basically what I'm going to do 
is I will try to find a governor. Obviously, that's going to be very, very difficult for us to do that, but we will try. And then what we'll do is we'll just let our loyalty go up to around, um, usually I like to go to around 80 plus. So if I can get to 80 with loyalty, I'll be very pleased with that. And that will basically mean um, we can then start building something else, like for example, fairgrounds and gardens and so on. We want to get fairgrounds to um, maximum as, as fast as possible. Um, and then, well, I obviously want to put some people in the garrison here as well. I mean, you can see here that there's actually some pretty uh, pretty high tier units in here. I don't know whether I can... Hmm. Yeah, I can actually put some people in there. So let's do that. Let's put some tier 3s, tier 1s in there. And then we will take some tier 5s and so on and so forth out of here. And we're running around with 99 units. Not sure if that's... Not sure if that's enough. Is that good? Is that good enough? Is that good enough for us to, for us to actually be able to um, win <laughs> in battles? I guess so, right? I, I guess it should be enough, right? Hopefully. Hopefully it is. Oh my. Okay, yeah. Well, Rome. Uh, Rome's vote is about to come in. So we'll see what happens with that. Where's my ships? Um... Are you, are they, uh, wait a minute, why, okay, so, so, wait a minute, wait a minute, where are my ships, because I can't actually click on them, or, oh, that might be, um, that might be a little bit of a bug there, potentially, because uh, it is still in development, you got to bear that in mind, this is um, still a mod in development, uh, sure, I'll, I'll free him for 400. I shouldn't have clicked on that, but I was a little bit, um, I'm kind of worried about this, to be honest. Because uh, all my ships are now probably gone, I think. Uh, yeah. Right, so, so basically what I should have done was gone over here. Uh, that's what I should have done instead. Okay, here we go. Here's the owner. Let's see. Oh, no, are you serious that you're, you're going to give it to yourself, you absolute imbecile? All right, well, there you go. He's actually doing that. That is really, really bad. I'd like to vote for myself here, but I obviously cannot do that. I'm going to have to vote for Roger II to increase my relation with him, of course. Ah, oh, if only they had taken that first, then I would have been the one to get this. That would have been so incredibly useful. All right, so I'm going to have to purchase... Oh, hello. Oh, cool. We can actually buy some really, really amazing um, amazing ships. What is this? Aha, look at that. That's actually crazy good. It's a speed of 7. Okay, speed of 9. Speed of 9. Cargo capacity for the Hulk is insane. Okay, I'm going to go for this one, I think. Going to go for 2 Gal Galleus? Galleus? I don't know. I'm just going to call this... Um, uh, I have no idea. Um, victorious. There we go. Ah, uh, Oos. Victorious. There we go. That sounds like a great idea. All right. So let's go for, um, uh, well, not that. Let's go for another one of these. There we go. And now we can set sail. All right. Yeah, that's, that's very, ooh, that was, that was harsh, wasn't it? Yeah. So we had to spend a little bit of money there, but obviously we now have a castle available to us. And that is indeed going to be something that is pretty useful. And is there a landing point around here, actually? Because I feel like a landing point would probably be easier for me than the ferry point. Because obviously the ferry point doesn't really work right now. Kind of stole my ships, unfortunately. And another ransom offer is coming in there. Okay, so the thing that we need to do now is... Well, I actually am no longer the leader on the leaderboard either, because I'm dead. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that is so sad. Oh, okay. Yeah, so unfortunate that that happened. But now we're going to need to find someone else to marry, right? That is what we're going to have to do. So let's have a look here. So male, alive, because otherwise they're going to give me Borgar, aren't they? That is really funny. Okay, not married. Okay, ah, oh, we actually have this guy who is a part of the enemy faction. That's actually funny. Yeah, that's probably not going to work too well. Um, yeah, okay, what about... Uh, no. Uh, ruler of the Kingdom of Scotland. Why not that fellow? He has a huge amount of skills. Pretty good skills, actually. Medicine skill. Whoa, this guy's actually crazy good. Alright, why not? Shall we try to... 
Should we try to marry the King of Scotland? Oh, that's, that seems... No, sure. He, he's not married. That seems so weird. Why is he not married? Okay. That's kind of strange. I would have expected him to be married, but okay. Maybe he's not. For a reason. Maybe, maybe that's on purpose. Uh, ruler of the Crusader States. Okay. Mercenary. Okay, yeah, there's a bunch of people here. Well, uh, this guy, this guy is the leader of the Papal States, and he ate, well, he's 55. I don't, I don't think that's going to work out too well. Uh, he's probably going to die pretty soon. Oh, Roger is actually not married. Oh, that's funny. He has really bad skills, though, as you can quite clearly tell. Well, well, not really bad, but, you know, in comparison to Mr. Scottish Man, he is not looking particularly good. So I'm thinking, hey, you know what, maybe we do want to go for... Um, you know, the Scottish ruler. That might be that might be useful. William II of uh of England is also single. So uh no, he's forty nine. I'm not really looking forward to that. And look at his skills. Skills not so good in comparison. So yeah, you know what? I think we'll probably go for that fellow. Let's actually just see where he is so that I can um I'm gonna try it. I I don't know. Maybe you can let me know. I, I will try it though, but let me know if you think that it's even possible, because maybe it's not even possible to me, uh, for me to be able to do that. Uh, but yeah, otherwise, I'm basically just going to be waiting for a very long time at my castle for my um, statistics to, to uh, be raised up here. Obviously, I'm going to need to find a governor as well. I don't think either of these are um, useful here. I mean, I technically could put them in here if they are the, um, the right culture. So let me actually just have a look. Um, Irish, that's not going to work. Nordic, that's not going to work. Okay. Yeah, uh, I can't put Martha at the top of the list. Why can't I put Martha at the top of the list? That's absolutely hilarious in itself. All right, well, yeah, anyway. <laughs> uh, that is going to be it for this episode. A very, very weird one. That's all I can say about it. Anyway, I'll see you next time.